is one of those athletes that just doesn't know the word no or I can't. She never gives up, no matter how many cards are stacked against her in the deck. Sometimes having those things happen to you gives you a perspective you would have never had before. And I can see where TC might get her fire from. It's from having missed a little bit that you really learn how to not take things for granted. What really drew me to rowing was that so much of it is just about the time and the concentration and the work ethic. It's an incredible feeling when you're together with seven other rowers and then also your coxswain. You know, everyone in that shell is just focused on your one goal and focused on basically nothing other than taking the next stroke as perfectly as you all can together. You kind of get locked into that cycle where you just want to do whatever the next thing is you can to make that improvement and make your crew go faster. It has tons of energy, clearly loves rowing, and honestly is so vocal about it all the time, which just gets me excited, makes it fun, you know. It's a lot easier to get through 18K when you have someone behind you, like kind of just like being positive and energetic. I say with leadership, you need physical leadership and vocal leadership, and Tara is one of those athletes that, that brings both um, every single day. Um, she's definitely not our strongest. Um, she's not PRing left and right. I think that makes her even more approachable. I think people realize that she's a good teammate, she says what needs to be said, um, and she leads wherever she goes, so she's the perfect team captain. My first couple weeks here I held a, you know, meet Coach Cook coffee hour and had all the student athletes come in and just to introduce themselves and for me to learn some names and some faces and for about the first hour nobody came and then Tara came and she was bright-eyed and passionate and enthusiastic and just, you know, a million miles an hour and she was on crutches and she had just had her entire hip basically replaced. I was born with both my hips dislocated um, and then had surgery on my right hip like on my first birthday, which never really had presented an issue like through childhood or anything. And it wasn't until about halfway through my freshman year here, rowing just started to cause me a lot of discomfort. And I was going to meet with our team doctor just to kind of assess like what the situation was. From looking at the x-ray, he was just honestly kind of shocked that I had even been walking around, let alone continuing to practice. My hip was partially dislocated um, and the labrum was basically like completely gone. I basically had full joint reconstruction. So it's, it's my hip, it's not like hip replacement, um, but it's all just like my bone reposition to better accommodate the joint. Yeah. <laughs> Being in the doctor's office when they asked how I had been walking and were concerned that I would never walk um, unassisted again was probably the scariest moment of my life. I come from somewhere where like nature is really important, being outside is really important. I grew up like hiking, swimming, kayaking, and the thought of kind of being forced into like this sedentary lifestyle as a 18 year old was terrifying. I would say her mental state was a little bit all over the place, but confident. Um, I think she knew deep down that she would get there, but she was a little unsure on her day to day how long that journey would take. There were some setbacks, of course. Um, rehabilitation does take a long time. Approximately nine months of not walking unassisted. There were so many people that put so much into making this happen, and my physical therapist Brett was just outstanding. You know, he worked with me every single day for basically two years. If it wasn't going to be a possibility, it wasn't going to be for anyone's lack of effort. And then I was more just hopeful and kind of hungry to try to like make this happen, I guess, and have everything back that people doubted would be a reality. So the summer after my sophomore year, I did the ACE program in Vietnam, which is a program for Duke and Stanford student athletes. It's a three-week program, um, kind of similar to a study abroad or any type of civic engagement. The program in Vietnam was running a three-week summer camp for kids in eighth and ninth grade in the Mekong Delta. Part of the program is also teaching and coaching different sports. So I coached basketball and taught biology. 
I think my favorite part of the whole experience was definitely just all the time doing sports with the kids. It kind of renewed my love for rowing and my excitement to be back. I kind of found that passion again for just, you know, competing for the sake of competing and I would kind of forgotten how fun that is and to get to do that with those kids, like it was just a once in a lifetime opportunity and I, I'm so thankful that I got to do that because I really think they taught me so much more than I could have ever taught them. She's gotten off the crutches, which is a good start. Uh, she walks and she carries boats and she does everything that everyone else does. She worked hard and she got there eventually and I think she started having fun with it by the time she got to the spring. I think she gained a voice. I think people started to listen to her too. And I think she felt a role coming on that she was not just a member of this team, but she was a leader of this team. She's made it very clear that she's committed to this team, she loves this team, and she's all about like what we're trying to do. She's so passionate about the sport and about her team that she couldn't stand the thought of not competing anymore. It shows what type of person she is. She's not willing to let setbacks stop her from achieving her goals. The one thing that like strikes me about that period was how much of an inspiration I personally found her. Look at TC. She like learned how to walk again just so she can get back in a boat. You can't do this like last 500 of a hard workout. Like yes you can. Slowly but surely she made a race boat. Against all odds, I would say. When she gets in the boat, she pulls really hard. And I know that's you know a simple saying, everyone in the boat pulls hard, but there's nobody that pulls like Tara. Um, I have so much confidence and so much faith when she's in a boat. She will you know, pass out before she stops pulling on that handle. She's relentless, and you know, I think she is what makes Duke good. Through this journey, I learned so much more about myself than I ever would have if I had been on a path of less resistance. I managed to walk after someone told me I was never gonna walk again, like I'm a captain of our team. Like It's so much more about what you do with what happens than how you feel about it. Being told that you can't do something, like that's just a chance to look it in the face and do it. I don't believe I was at a disadvantage, I believe if anything, that this has given me an advantage, not only in rowing, but in so many other parts of my life because I'm so much more confident in who I am as a person and in what I can accomplish.